to the fire. Everything that's negative that's been holding me down. I don't need to read into it, Omar. I have a huge box with memories, but most of them are toxic memories. It's holding me back. Dreams of makeup, dreams of school, dreams of so many plans, but nothing is done and it's just holding me back from the present moment that what I could really do is something new. Go to the bank, go to the pharmacy, do this, do that, you know. Why do I even keep this? I know it takes me courage to do something. I should just do it. Not write it down. What happens if I write it down and just stays there? Next goal, motivation, sport, job, all my goals, everything I'm not doing. That I just go back and read and I'm like, I didn't achieve this. You know what? I think it's time to move on. I don't know if I'm the only one that writes down things like that, but it's, I was holding this so preciously, like, like it's, it's a treasure, but it's actually just dragging me down. I have a full bag. This is what was dragging me down. I was carrying it like this, and it's not all. I was thinking, what if what if my house or this house would start and go on fire? I would lose all of it. And then what? Would I feel lost? It's it's me. But who defines me? Is it my thoughts or it's myself? I think I can define myself. I can be stronger than my thoughts. And that's what I'm deciding to do right now. Apply, apply, apply as a flight attendant. Do it! Shit, do it! Stop writing it down and drawing about it. You're not gonna get anywhere. Visa instructions. I already have my visa. It's really important to keep this in my life. No, it's not. Take an appointment. Go for your appointment of I don't know what. For my trip. The address of someone. I went to see a stranger and it um, didn't work out. Why do I have it? Why? One of them is no more my friend in there no more. And each time I look at this picture, it reminds me of a failed friendship. And this just brings me back to regrets. This just brings me back to things that are not necessary to think about because you cannot. You cannot fix things all the time, and sometimes it's not meant to be fixed, and sometimes it's just meant to learn from it and move on. In the end, I think there's a reason for all of this. I think we all are humans, we all have emotions, and I guess I'm an emotional hoarder. I hoard my emotions, write them down, and it drags me down. And why do I need to hoard? There's no reason. I want to travel. I want to be free. I want to be a bird. You know, I'm always... So might as well not be attached to nothing. Not even my mind. Not even my hoarding ideas and the negativity that keeps dragging me down. For all of you out there, I don't know, who might be like me. Hoard things, but not just things, also hoard thoughts. Things that they write and they keep it instead of burning it in the fire and celebrating the fact that they can move on. I hope, I really hope that this can help you realize that in the end it's just thoughts and it doesn't have a true value unless you give it some meaning and you give it the power to drag you down.